launch party this Saturday at both at Centerville Brew Pub and Dayton Tap Room. It will have blueberry donuts for the first 100 customers. The Centerville location opens at 11 a.m. The Dayton Tap Room opens at noon. Quite a hazy, smoky evening. Yeah, and it wasn't just across the Miami Valley. In mm -hmm. fact, the entire Buckeye State and you know, really most of the whole Great Lakes has been very hazy mm -hmm. as well. So, in fact, let's look at the map right now of current air quality across the Buckeye State as a whole. You see all those red dots. Those are indications where the air quality sensors in those areas are indicating unhealthy air for everybody, just like we were just talking about locally. So most of the Buckeye State, even down into Kentucky, back into Indiana as well. So the air quality, not very good this evening, and that means I don't expect much of a change for tomorrow morning either. Now, rain-wise this evening, a few of us actually have some thunderstorms up in Shelby County, Mercer County, Logan County, and also back into some of our Indiana counties. But now that is all really tapered off, really, to just a few light sprinkles. 72 here in Dayton right now and in Troy, and 70 right now in Bell Fountain. Your hour-by-hour hour forecast for tomorrow. Now you see the icons show thunderstorms all day long, but just as a reminder... It's not going to rain all day. There will be chances for showers and thunderstorms all day long, but it's not going to be an all-day rain. So I think you'll have some dry time, maybe get outside and maybe cut the grass, maybe, just maybe. Looking at the humidity levels for our upcoming work week, tomorrow going to be a muggy day with showers and storms. We'll send a little drier air in for Tuesday, but then Wednesday and Thursday we'll see it jump up to a little bit higher humidity levels before we hopefully start to get a nice longer break as we get towards the end of the upcoming week. Speaking of cutting the grass tomorrow, you can probably find a couple of drier periods, but you may not get it done. Tuesday, a much better day, and Wednesday, you can probably get it done again at times. Not going to be an all-day rain by any means for us. So futurecast through the rest of tonight, indicating that these clouds will continue to build overnight. May find a few pockets of clearing, but I don't anticipate any fog tonight because of the cloud cover that we've had. Now through the day tomorrow, you can see some thunderstorms in the afternoon starting to enter our northwestern counties by about 3 o'clock. I think it's a pretty good timing for us. A few downpours, not necessarily expecting severe weather, but you'll find most spots probably getting about a quarter to a half inch of rain before things kind of start to wind down for us by the end of the day on Monday and into early Tuesday. Here's the update to look at those rainfall totals. Again, it's going to depend on where those storms are most consistent tomorrow, but I think most of us see about a quarter to a half inch of rain. So for the afternoon tomorrow, 81 degrees, scattered rain showers and a few thunderstorms around again. Not an all day rain. And then Tuesday, we'll have a dry start to the day, but the latest data now suggesting that we're going to have some rain Tuesday night, and that'll carry into Wednesday and Thursday, not looking like an all-day rain. And as you can see right now, next weekend looking dry and a little less humid with highs in the lower 80s. All right, thank you, Nick. The age-old question, is it better to rent or buy a home? How high interest rates are impacting people's buying power? 